I'm about to start the steps for the front porch. There again, this will be red cedar, and I've got everything on the trailer and here on the sawhorse. I have my first stringer to use. This will be my pattern piece, and I'll kind of briefly go over with you how I lay these out. It's not a big mystery to build a set of steps. Uh, if you had a, a small set of steps to start with to kind of learn what you have to really do to make it work out, it would be good. But I'll set you up here, and as I go through this, I'll explain what I'm doing. So the first thing that I did to be able to start off doing this, I've got just a straight edge here, and I've got a level. And I know how far out my stringers are going to come. There'll be four, ste uh, four steps, and they'll each be 11 and a quarter wide. And so I've got a mark here, 11 times 4 is 45 inches, and I'm just measuring down to the ground. And looking at my level, and I've got about 30 inches there. So with, with the height of where this will set out here at 30 inches and with four steps, or four rises as we call it, or risers, that will be seven and a half inches for each step up. And that actually is a perfect height that just happened to work out here. Now on the back porch, it didn't work out exactly that way. It was a, a little bit less than that, but it was still a comfortable height to step up each time. But this just happened to work out at seven and a half. So that's what I'm gonna go with. I'll turn you around and I'll show you how I lay it off on the first stringer, which will be my pattern for the other three. There will be four, four stringers here. There'll be one here, 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 and here. And the, the treads or the steps themselves will be 48 inches wide. And I'm bringing the outside stringers in three quarters of an inch so that I can have the little overhang like I did on the, the, the boards that go on the porch. I already have this first stringer laid out. I know those lines are a little bit faint and it may be kind of hard to see, but it's laid out and ready to cut. I have my square and I'm using these buttons here, some people call them, and they work great. And I've got it set, well, it's set on seven and a half and 11 and a quarter. Seven and a half would be the the height and 11 and a quarter would be the step. This is how much you would step up would be seven and a quarter. Now I've already laid this off, but I'll, I'll come back here. I've already got this laid. Now there's a line that I've drawn across here and it may be really faint, but when I go to the next one, I make sure that that seven and a half is lined up with this line. Now you have to play with these buttons just a little bit. It actually the button is back uh, about a 32nd of an inch from where it's the seven and a half actually is on the square because of the way the buttons are shaped that corner doesn't always let your square get right on it so you have to kind of slide these back and forth till you get get it right where you want it and it's the same way down here on the 11 and a quarter but I've I've already made this actually this is all laid out I'll just show you I'm on seven and a half I'm right lined up with this this line here. This is actually the first one that I marked. And I just slide my square down and I make sure that my seven and a half is right on that. And I'll mark it. And then I'll slide on down, making sure that my seven and a half is right on the, the line that I made here. And I go on down till I have, in this case, I have four steps. This would be my first step at the top. And this is actual cutoff line where my thumb is. Now, if you look, there is another line right here. Now, what I'm doing is basically the same thing that I did on the rafters so that I could actually fit the rafters against at the top. I'm leaving myself a half inch here so that I can fit this part of the stringer up against the porch. And so I can set it up there and use a level and plumb and make and figure out what I need to do to uh, 
to get a, a good fit there. I need to keep this point exact, the 11 and a quarter. So I'll be able to fit this as I go down through there and I'll keep everything lined up. This is my first step from the ground. I've got seven and a half inches and what I did, I darkened these lines so that you might be able to see them. Now, if I just cut this off right here, which would be the seven and a half inches, when I put the two by sixes on top, which would be right here, at 11 and a quarter, there'll be two of them, and that'll give me, since they are a full two inches wide, that would be oh, giving me about a three quarter of an inch overhang out here. Now, if I did just cut this where the layout was and I put the two by sixes for the step back on top that's going to have me from the ground to the top of that first step at nine inches which is uncomfortable for a step so whatever you're going to put on top for your treads what you're stepping on that is the amount that you need to cut off of the very bottom of your stringer I've got this this is the seven and a half to right here. I've come back up an inch and a half, and this will be where I actually cut this. And then when I get them all anchored to the, to the porch and I start putting my two by sixes on there, this first step will be the uh, seven and a half inches that I need to keep everything comfortably. In my opinion, it's critical to cut these out to where they're every one is exactly the same. Okay, now I'm ready to start cutting all of this out on the very first one, which will be my pattern for the other three. I had to fire up the generator, so enjoy the noise. Since I've just cut right to my lines, and that being a circular saw, I've got to finish my cut, and I'm using my little silky saw, which works really well.
got just a little bit left right in that corner. I'll take my frame and chisel and I'll clean all of that out. Since I am going to use this one for a pattern, I want this to be really crisp. And I'll get these, the rest of these cut out, just two more. And uh, then I'll show you how I actually use this as a pattern. When uh, I laid this out to begin with, if the stringer board's got any kind of a crown, I always put that up. And when I put, use this as a pattern, I'll line up the bottom side with the back side of the stringer, the, the, the other three that I'll be cutting out. And if there's any discrepancy, it will be right here, although from this point to here will all be the same. All the, all the stringers will be exactly alike. It, if your boards are like 11 and a half or 11 and three eighths or whatever, it, it keeps everything on the back side flush. So I'll get these cut out and then we'll use this as a, the pattern to start cutting the other three. When I start to cut the other three stringers out, I've got to bear into mind that I, the lines that are on here were drawn on the outside of the cutouts on the, the, my, the first one that I made, my pattern. So when I cut these pencil lines or cut these lines here that I drew with my pencil, what I try to do with my skill saw is to just take the pencil line, just, just take just and no more. Now sometimes I will bobble, but I try to take just a pencil line to keep the other three as close to the exact dimensions as my pattern was. You'll probably hear the generator running and this fan. It is really, really hot right now. But what I'm doing, I'm trying to get established what I've got here. I'm just using my little torpedo level and setting it up there and checking to see which way I need to make this cut and using a little steel ruler. This is basically the same thing that I did when I put the, the rafters up on the porch. Just kind of checking to see what my level says. Just about a quarter of an inch I need to adjust that. What I've done, I measured out my 11 and 3 quarters and got it a little mark. Just taking my framing square and squaring right off the top of that. And I've got a little mark here. So I know that I need to cut back. So I'm just using my little steel ruler and marking back a quarter of an inch. And then I drew my line. And this will be where I cut. I hope I've done it right. I'm attaching these with a, a three and a half inch torque screw. Okay, so I've got everything set now to put the uh, steps on. Two pieces of two by six red cedar. If you noticed, I put a, a two by four on here and I've got a couple stakes that's screwed into it. This is screwed into the fronts of these, these uh, risers here. And the reason I do that is because I'm going to climb on these steps before I really have anything down underneath them. So I'll just have to remember to step here first. But I'll probably forget to step down here too. But they're pretty much resting on the ground and back at the back. 
Now these two I'll just screw on temporarily so that I can take them off and dig down here to set a little form for these to set on, on in, uh, down at the bottom. Now this one I had to rip back, I had to rip an inch off of it to take care of the inch overhang that I had left on the on the boards on the porch. So it'll it'll still work out. I'll have my overhang that I need right here. Okay, let's see if I can get some screws in that. I'm giving myself three quarters of an inch. I'll walk around here. Right here on the overhang on the sides. I actually set the uh, the stringers at 46 and a half inches and my steps are the, these treads are uh, are full 48 so that gives me three quarters of an inch overhang on either side and about that on the front now these are fresh sawed so they may shrink a little bit which that's kind of normal for them to shrink some so let me get those on there I know I, I talk about my daddy quite a bit, but he was telling about an inspector that he had when he worked in California. And he said this particular inspector would climb a set of stairs after the, they were put on. And he could tell if one of those was off just by the feel of his stepping up. Now this was his story. He said, after you took two or three steps, your body would automatically adjust to how high to pick up your feet. Now, I don't know that my feet are coordinated enough or programmed like that if one very much you could tell it because you're going to stumble but this guy was really close that's just a story that my daddy would tell me nearly every time we would do a set of stairs he'd tell that story so we did a lot of stairs so i heard the story quite a few times well this is another little job taken care of some steps so we're not climbing up and down on a, an old chair or a tin can or a bucket this will make it a lot easier. Mm -hmm.